Good morning, everyone. Um, looks like I scheduled this for 12 hours from now, so we'll see what happens now that we've pushed the go live anyway button. Um, I will, we'll do it anyway, and if we have six total people, then so be it. That may be a thing, because I know that people, you know, make some time in their schedule and probably didn't do so today. I guess they can watch it in 12 hours. Um, let's get things organized. Ugh, covered it. One second. Someday I'm going to do the thing I say I should do every single time and actually do it. Okay, close enough. Let's see, all my sliders are in approximately the right place. So it looks like Brazilian won the poll. So Badu Brazilian, I don't, rec I mean, it's two parts. I don't remember it being very long, but I didn't remember Arl Eamon being the longest plot in the game. So uh, I guess we'll see. We finished Mage Tower in one session, so um, it would be a bit weird if we somehow failed to finish uh, Brazilian in one session, but Red Cliff took forever, so I guess we'll see. Uh, let's see. Let me turn myself on. There we go. Okay, well, let's jump in. We are. We just picked up Shale. Um, does anyone remember if Shale has any plots for Landsmead? Because maybe I'll pick her for the, the rescue. I don't remember her, what she had. I think Brazilian, honestly, um, well, let me not make any statements till we actually get there. here? No. No. I gotta go all the way back down. Yes. Let's go find ourselves some elves. I don't remember the random encounter being this high. No lands meet? Oh, okay. Oops. Is she even shoot? Can you even choose her? I feel like we can do deep roads. Um, quicker than it typically takes if we stay on track, but I guess we'll see. Oh. Why are you dead, Alistair? What happened? Oh, It sure did. I'm 
turn my end down a little bit. Let me know if the game is too quiet. A trap. Yeah, he's been he's been holding up fine. Otherwise, I'm not sure why he fell over. Wasn't really paying attention. Stop uh, right there, outsider. The Dalish have camped in this spot. I suggest you go elsewhere and quickly. I find that hard to believe. What business could we Dalish possibly have with a group like yours? I'm a great warden. warden. How do I know you're telling the truth? I'm wearing this fancy armor I got. No, that's true. Perhaps I shall let the Keeper decide for himself. In the camp, I suggest you keep your hands to yourself, and remember that our arrows are still trained on you. Follow me. See, we have guests. Who are these strangers, Nifra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. This one claims to be a Grey Warden and wishes to speak with the clan. I thought it best to leave the decision to you. That was wise of you. Masirinus, Mithra. You may return Indeed. to your post. Manuvinen, Keeper. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zathrian, the Keeper of this clan. It's guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? If you came to bring news of the Blight in the South, it is not needed. I had already sensed its corruption. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, uh, that's who it is. Do not. Yes, it seems like you've had your own troubles. What are the odds? I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. I do really wish one of the factions had their shit together so they could help you immediately. Like, just an extra throwaway one that's like, Oh yeah, we got our stuff, we're all packed! The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. They ambushed us, and though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak. Even with all our magic and healing skill, we will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. To answer the question, um, the every game is influenced by the space around it. So Inquisition is influenced by Skyrim in that open world games were kind of the the expectation of RPGs at the time, and if you're making an open world game in in the early 2010s, Skyrim is certainly the one to be paying attention to. We definitely looked at it. Um, so the answer to that question is everything. Um, um, but uh, there are certain games that I would argue have very little influence. The ones that you would think might, things like... Um, um, Wind Waker and uh, GTA. These are games that are so either so expensive in the case of GTA, probably cost two hundred million dollars to make, um, or just took so long in the case of Wind Waker um, that they're they're way less influential than you would expect them to be because largely game devs look at them as being unreplicable. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
not enough to make a difference for you and not simultaneously leave us defenseless. Why did they attack They you? are savage and unrelenting. They need no reason to attack anyone. What is curious, however, is the ambush. We expect werewolves to be no more cunning than a rabid wolf. The ambush suggests a level of intelligence we've never seen before. Maybe they aren't I doubt that. The very curse that is in their blood fills them with an unreasoning rage that precludes any true thought. The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that... that would be no trivial task to retrieve. Fine. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call Oof. him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my plan. Uh, fine, let's just do I it. I must warn you that more than werewolves have stuff to do. Brazilian forest. As a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. Um. Let's do it. I must return to caring for my people. I don't need equipment. Creator my inventory's almost full. Oh, I should buy a. Well, I should buy a backpack expansion. Let me just see. Hey, you left this chest unlocked. Did you know that? Please leave that be. If you have need of equipment, I am sure Master Verathorn can help you. But what's inside? What is the point? It is none of your business. So please, leave it be. Oh, but it's a chest and it's not locked. Where is... Okay. What are you doing? You've warped the wood completely. Did you leave it out in the rain? No, Master Ferrothorn. I, uh... I, uh... I think I just used too much heat. You're not smelting ore like a Durganlin. This is living wood. It requires patience and delicate hands, not more heat. My actions bring me sorrow, Master Verathorn. And so they should. Truly the art will be lost to us forever at this rate. Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest. Now then, please forgive my distraction, stranger. <laughs> well, is there something that you need? The still on. Uh... Sure. I am no merchant, but let us trade. Perhaps there's something here which will be of value to you. Is there a backpack? Ah. Okay. This actually oh, it's not bad. But it's fine. Finally, why did that VFX keep going on? Um Cameron Travel Merchant. I don't care about you being sucky at crafting. Or you. You Mithra? I trust there are no hard feelings about my questioning of you when you arrived. We Dalish must protect ourselves from trouble at all times.
Had we known a Grey Warden was coming, we might have arranged a different reception. But I wish you good fortune with your task. Darth Shiro. All right. Let's take a look at these air bells. Eh, I mean for 2009. I'm not going to go codex hunting. Someone going to go codex hunting. <laughs> okay. Woo! Cool camera. Warden. Yes. Just looking for a werewolf. I'm sure there's nothing more to this plot than the, what I was told by the by Tubak. Wolves! Oh no! Are they gonna be all sad? Oh, there's at least a werewolf. All right. Just dogs. That's interesting, bro. They really are werewolves. I thought they were just making that up. I don't know why you were carrying that. Or why you were carrying that. Yes. Going. All right. All right. Oh, I took. Took a two weapon fighting ability. Wasn't well, I'm paying attention when I level up? I guess. Yes. Okay. Wait. Let me just. Oh, I totally did. Why did I take that? Maybe I started with it. Right. Palm strike. Turn on all of these things. Passive. Okay, let's see. Let's just let's clean this mess up. I'm sure everyone's excited to watch this. Palm strike. Punk. Use that. Uh, 
Are you guys fighting about whether Ash Wraiths survived, or Ash um, Warriors survived the Ostagar? Because I'm pretty sure that's an unanswerable question. <laughs> Oops, did I go in a big circle? Sure did. This is like the bat, the greatest bear combat music ever. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we got rid of them because the, you know, the, the stamina is kind of a, a, or stamina and mana are kind of a weird thing because I personally find it very awkward that you're limiting power usage based upon two things. So you've got a cooldown on individual powers and then you have a pool of mana um, or stamina, what have you. Um, um, but so it's been kind of a thing that's, that's fallen in and out of favor with the combat team there. So that, okay, fine, let's, let's do it. I need a bearskin rug. It was like grumpy um, Winnie the Pooh. Oh, I see you. Oh, interesting. They're, the models are resolving, but the um, targeting's not. Interesting. Thank you for saving, because I hadn't done so. Ooh. Oh, you have a name. Oh, 
There shall be no talk. You invade our forest, and you insult us with your talk. Hey, come, brothers and sisters. Swift Runner calls you to battle. Drive this invader from our midst. No, but can't we just be friends? All right. <laughs> has eyes of its own, and it shall deal with you. You have been warned. Just try, just got a job to do here, man. Look, I would fight you, but there's an elf right here. Ooh, that's a big group. is a bit icky since you know they can talk. Mm, I don't think it's intentional that it, it, I don't know why there's only eight on um, on PC. Um, I mean it was balanced to that for consoles but I don't think it would be. It's it's likely just a, a a UI, like how much time we spend on the UI thing. Where's that belt? Is it any good? Nah. All right, so we'll put that on Morgan. I mean, that's the short answer is because eight is the number on the consoles, but I don't know that there was any particular reason why it couldn't be um, more on the on the PC, other than just not having to worry about re, re um, balancing. What? Who? Uh, who comes? We were sent to find Witherfang, bring his heart, attack, I... When you just stood there, you're the spirit healer. Check his equipment. Let's take it back to camp. And yeah. Darren Atishan, Grey Warden. I would think it would. Our scouts saw you approaching and tell me you carry the body of one of our hunters with you. Ah, Dagon. He is wounded, but I think he will live. Why well, are we getting an upshot of Dagon there? Appreciated. Come, Lefeline. Let us take Dagon to the Keeper, and quickly. If we are lucky, we may still save him. Yeah, I mean, I think that the, the short answer, I'm pretty sure, is it's 8 on consoles, so um, it defaulted to 8 on PC. It could have been more, but then you have to also um, do balancing to see if it affects 
the the combat balance and so it just introduces another vector so it's just more variables it just was less variables you just dump me back where I started I don't know I'm older than Wynn I look older than her I'm in my 40s I look older than Wynn I don't remember this Bramble uh, model from Origins of School. For a dog. My first programming language. I do think Pascal. I learned Pascal first. It used to be used pretty much exclusively as a learning language, um, um, and then I. She's forty six when the tower falls, so. So I'm basically her age. So, you know, I don't look that much worse than her. Um, yeah, so I learned C before C++. It wasn't actually until my internship that I really got a handle on object-oriented programming. I was doing tech support on C++ and uh, didn't really completely get it. Did Luke leave me a? Did Luke leave me a surprise?
let the pathfinding do the work. Oh, I'm amazed the pathfinding is actually pulling this off. Why are you fighting me? This is a dwarf's nightmare. That's a nice reveal. I mean, you can tell, but it's still a nice reveal. I wonder, can I stun you with that? Nah, it from Origins. Origins was originally envisioned as being a one-off, so there is a lot of, um, there are a lot of time bombs, um, set up in there. For example, um, Orzammar is supposed to be in a civil war about now, now-ish. So, like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of mess left by, by Origins or, or um, cards. Beast be thee that comes before this elder tree. I was thinking yesterday about all of the intelligent races that have been sort of introduced in the background of Origins, you know, like the Treants and the Ghast and the Giants that have just kind of been introduced as kind of one offs and never brought back in or in Dragon Age. Stone. I should have heard it in thy tone. The woods have never been thy home. Tis far beneath the earth you roam. Allow me a moment to welcome thee. I am called the Grand Oak, sometimes the Elder Tree. It rhymes? Tis a rhyming tree. I can only imagine what manner of spirit is involved here. The world is certainly full of marvelous, unexpected creations. Each day we see something that we never thought possible. And unless thou thinkst it far too soon, might I ask of thee a boon? Sure. I have but one desire. To solve a matter very dire. As I slept one early morn, a thief did come and steal an acorn. It's a squirrel, isn't it? All I have is my bead, my seed. Without it, I am alone indeed. I cannot go and seek it out. Yet I shall die if left without. That's right. We do have the li the lizard people in the paintings. Hmm. My wooden skin has some magic, see, and part of it I can give to thee. In the center of the forest, the wares do dwell. 
or so go the tales my fellows tell. But they cannot be followed there. The forest doth protect the wares. Perhaps wares use magic to command the trees. All I know is they move as they please. The forest would see thee as a tree. And so, no harm would come to me. I don't know who the voice actor is for this one. Wilt thou then perform the task? I just Wilt guess. thou save me as I ask? Let's do it. Go to the east to find this man. I shall await. Do what thou can. To the east, a eh? the east is this way. Oh, I leveled up. Well, I've um, I've got my all those st sustains on, so I'm gonna just give myself some more stamina. Boop boop. What's this? Yeah. Cool. Well, it's a good thing the game is remembering you save, because I'm not. It's a werewolf saving the place. Creeped out by the werewolf pelts. What's this? No, well, we said to the east, let's do it. Yes. Hala. Hi. Can you pet the Hala? Mm -hmm. Pet, 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 pet. Mm. Let's just keep going east. As much east as we can. Two! Um, 
um, I mean, the elves as presented are basically, yeah, pretty much the Tevinter are just echoing the, the many of the things the elves have done and picking up their bits, bits of discarded garbage and, uh, and doing bad stuff with them. So yes, I don't think the elves, um, I, I don't think ancient elven lore is anything to be super excited about in terms of not being terrible. Hala, hala, hala. You eating this? No? Okay. Yum, yum, yum. Oh. Hey there. Oh dear, oh dear. Not a werewolf and not a spirit even. What are the woods coming to? Mayhap I did, and mayhap I didn't. Have you come to claim it back? Oh, what fun. But we are getting ahead of ourselves already. Ask a question, and you'll get a question, but give an answer, and you'll receive the same. Oh, I do so love to trade. No, that is not a question. And if it be an answer, it be an answer to a question I've not asked. Have you no sense for the rules? Be cautious. This is no ordinary madman. He has magic. I can sense it. Powerful magic. No fair bringing mages to a guessing game. Will you play by the rules or not? I think it is your turn to ask, is it not? Let's see. I'll trade you an acorn, a helmet I found, or a book I finished reading years ago, provided you have something interesting in return. And what do you have to trade for the book? Coin? <laughs> what possible use could I have with coin? Do you see a money changer about? Well, that's your business then, isn't it? I still answered your question, and now it's my turn again. May I? Oh, yes, I think I might. Now, what shall be the first? Oh, yes. What is your name? Aha. Uh -huh. So you claim. They sent you, didn't they? But you're too tricky, and you're trying to fool me. Well, I'm on to you, just so you know. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. Ah, suddenly it all becomes clear. You hear that talking tree there, it all makes sense now. As a matter of fact, yes. I do have that tree's acorn. I stole it, and it was easy. Silly tree should have locked it up tighter. If you want it, you'll have to trade me for it. And nothing from that silly tree. No leaves or branches or anything. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for an answer. There you go. May I? Oh, yes, I think I might. Hmm. Where were you born? Hmm. So you say, fiendishly clever of you to maintain this facade for so long, but I will see through it yet. Mark my words. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. Let's see. I'll trade you an acorn, a helmet I found, or a book I finished reading years ago, provided you have something interesting in return. Oh, and what do you have to trade for the acorn? Uh. Coin? <laughs> what possible use could I have with coin? Do you see a money changer about? <laughs> well, that's your business then, isn't it? I still answered your question, and now it's my turn again. May I? Oh, yes, I think I might. 
Let's see. Do you have a knowledge of the arcane arts? Oh, well, that's disappointing. But wait. What if you were lying? Aha. You thought to scamper away without suspicion, did you? Well, I'm on to you. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. Yes, I live here, and it's not as bad as you think. Where else to go, eh? We must stay away from them. They are out there and looking. They will take your secrets, oh yes. All of them, and leave you empty. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for an answer. There you go. May I? Oh yes, I think I might. What is your relationship with your father? Hmm. Interesting. Most interesting. So that means that you did indeed have a father. <laughs> ah, I knew I would trip you up sooner or later. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. Uh. Who am I? Why do you want to know? Did they send you? Yes. Did they tell you to ask? Oh, oh, oh. Did they tell you to pretend to be an innocent stranger with a head full of fluff and nothing? I'm trickier than I look. <laughs> I survive still, and the trees, they leave me be. <laughs> I've won. They will never find me. Never. So you did. But I'm watching you. If they sent you, I'll know. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for an answer. There you go. May I? Oh, yes, I think I might. Have you ever seen the Grand Cathedral of Valroyo? Rat. I've always wondered what it looked like. Oh, well, it was worth a question. Your turn. Let's see. I'll trade you an acorn, a helmet I found, or a book I finished reading years ago, provided you have something interesting in return. And what do you have to trade for the helmet? Gold. Coin? Yeah. <laughs> what possible use? <laughs> well, that's your business then, isn't it? I... May I? Oh, yes, I think I might. <clears throat> have you... ever been in love? No, I'm so oh, lonely. How boring. Maybe they didn't send you after all. That's a bit of a relief, isn't it? All right, then. If you still have something to ask, ask away. I don't have anything to oh, ask. Well, you just let me know if you change your mind. Run along and tell them whatever you wish. I intend to keep digging. And I'm off. <laughs> Hold on, you. That's private property. That's an old man's home, that is. Keep out. Keep out. Robber is what you are. They sent you, didn't they? Well, I'll show you. They won't get away with this. I don't want to have to kill you. Yes.
guess that that's one way. What does he want to trade? Is there a way to get through that without having to kill him? And I don't remember. See, no one carries the key to their own chests. But, okay. Whatever. Going. Alright. Did I get the acorn? I wasn't actually paying attention. Alistair, you need more hit points. Alistair, um, no, no. Uh, fine, survival. Oh, is that what he trades? Oh. Sure. Fine, let's go back. Hello, 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 hello. I'm about to get lost. I didn't initiate that combat. He started. Well, I guess I tried to reach in and pull the acorn out, but... He did steal it, and he admitted to dealing, so... Take no responsibility for murdering that old man. My acorn is still gone, so I pray to thee. Hast thou any news for me? My joy soars to new heights indeed. I am reunited with my seed. As I promised, hear it be. I hope its magic pleases thee. Keep this branch of mine with thee, and pass throughout the forest free. I wish thee well, my mortal friend. Thou brought my sadness to an end. May the sunlight find you, thy days be long, thy winters kind, and thy roots be strong. Yay! Hey, come in. Bunk, bunk, bunk. More healing. Uh, I mean, I can talk about Dawn of the Seeker. I don't know if it's an entire video or not, but uh, um, now we're gonna get to the middle. What do we got? No.
How odd. A camp with no campers, complete with fire and warm blankets. Rather inviting, would you not say? Yeah. It looks like a great place. We should the take Elven him hunters there. didn't set this up. How strange. And yet it all just seems so comfy. Friendly. I want to do nothing but remain. Sleepy camp. So tired. So sleepy. This looks like we should sleep in this. Yeah. And I'm off. It's so so nice to sleep here. I feel magic here. Draining my strength. We must leave. And soon. Oh. We should need to stay awake. There's a bad guy over here. Maybe we should go this way. Uh, maybe it's time to sleep. Perhaps we have been too hasty in leaving. I'm too old for all this running around. But camp looks like a good spot to rest, so long as we're watchful. So ah, something nice. This is fine, right? Oh no! What has happened? Oh no! Of course, win. Much in the way of attacks, stone fist. Put any points into your car. Literally, do you have? Did I give you any attacks? had it anyway. A hungry spirit luring those who pass to their rest and their doom. I might wonder how it learned this trick. No matter, it should prey on no one else. just going off. All right. Even 
inventory's full. Is this anything? Why do I have a silver ring in equipped? All right. I see you, but I don't know. The clarity of the pathfinding is not the, the clearest in Origins, is it? Looks like I should be able to go that way. All right. Yes, I can speak to why healing spells were not brought back. So healing spells and regenerating mana mean that every single combat needs to be a threat on its own, which means in an open world that you can't basically do an open world with regenerating mana and healing spells because the combat in the open world is pointless. It's just a series of increasingly, um, uh, inc increasingly tedious roadblocks, um, because you can't make every single encounter with some bandits be a threat to the um, to your life. Now, if you had non-regenerating mana, or if you have some sort of damage mitigation, oops, um, then you could do you could do damage mitigation. Um, same kind of problem, but at least it's sort of preemptive, so you can kind of whittle away. Um, or you can, um, um, or you could do non-regenerating mana, and then make that be your um, limiting factor what in the world oh here we go oops I'm not paying attention Oh, 
what? Let's get you some more hit points. Let's just go this way for a second. Random. Can you figure that out? Well, not with everyone in the way. So be it. Impressed with that funny, to be honest. Many bears. Oh, why am I Morgan? Oh, Morgan. No, what are you doing? Morgan! <laughs> Morgan's still still off. Where? Let's do this quickly, shall we? Oh yeah, she she made it to the skeleton. Okay, cool. This is not Morgan. <laughs> Didn't combat starting kind of give you a feeling like maybe you shouldn't no. have just continued running off, but <laughs> Is it um, left over from the... So you're probably injured as well, huh? I just go in a big circle. No. Sort of. Okay, can't go that way. Hmm. All right. 
This must be in the east forest. Going. All right. Permit. Okay. because um, Baldur's Gate isn't turn-based either. It was definitely trying to evoke Baldur's Gate from a, from a uh, combat perspective, which is, which is pause and play. Thank you for joining. Please help. Listen. I am not the mindless beast you appear to be. Obey. I am cursed. Turn into this creature. A curse. It. It burns in me. I fled into the forest. The werewolves, they took me in. But I had to return. I had to. Careful. These werewolves might have laid a trap for us or something. You never know. You are one of the dwarven folk. I am. Was once an elf, one of the Dalish, until my change. Do you know of my clan? One thing that I've always found frustrating with um, turn based combat is it can, without some sort of auto resolution, it can make the um, minor combats really tedious. Like, I definitely am going to beat you. But I have to still go through five turns of, of combat because that's just how it's, it's balanced. Um, so whereas um, way back in BG1, the, the thinking with pause and play was if you massively overpower the combat, you just don't pause. Uh, if you need to think more, you can pause. So that's really where pause and play came from. The Keeper sent you, then you the fact. I have, but it is not what you think. But there is no time to explain. You must listen. My name is Nine. My husband. He is called Athras. Please. Must bring him a message. The stuff I will bring it to him. <laughs> Tell him I love him. Tell him <laughs> I am dead, and with the gods, I beg you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I only want him to be a peace. He is a good man. The curse is fire in my blood. Please, hand it for me. Hand it quickly. Magic will not work. No, no, he does not 
Sure, we'll take her pelt as well. Gross. Hey, Swift Runner. How's up? Lens up. The forest has not been vigilant enough. Still to come. You are stronger than we could have anticipated. The Dalish chose well. But you do not belong here, outsider. Leave this place. treacherous Dalish to kill with a fang. I will not stand by and allow that to happen. And they deserve no less. You are an intruder in our home. You come to kill as all your kind do. We have learned this lesson well. Here, Witherfang protects us. Here we learn our names and our beloved. We will defend Witherfang and this place with our lives. But no, I just want to talk. Oops. But, you know, I mean, you stopped me, but I'm still gonna skin this guy, I guess. It's a gift. Can I dump something to pick it up? Oh wait, maybe I, do I have any more gifts? Other? Not that. Sure. Use. Use it up, did it? What was that for?
That's going to piss her off. junk here. Yeah, fine. Put that. All right. I await your command. Never mind. Chest I can't open. talking to Is this an elven place? Everything's an elven elves place. Elves live underground, just like the dwarves? I think you have a better shield than that, right, Ballister? Oops. Glitch. Glitch you pass my name.
spiders. Whoops. Boots. Just I can't open. Not good, I need one of those. Oh, that was out. We should prepare ourselves for combat. Why, Morgan? Well, this is some of the better audio design in the game. A mini dragon. Gloves, some dwarf. What are you doing up here? Oh no. Can you guys put on better gloves? Oh yeah, you can put on these. Oh, but you're wearing good gloves. How about you? You're also wearing good gloves. Then. Tomp. Let's just take everything I can. What do I have a little bit of? Do I actually have the helmet on always? Oh, I do. Because of the plus two to all attributes? Is that what makes it so good?
Let's see what Alistair... Oh, you're injured again. How did you... Oh, no, you're injured because of the, the... Because of the doll. Is Morgan getting a bonus from that? No. Can I unuse it? Dragon Age 2 and Dragon Age Origins are actively trying to clean up the mess left by this game. There, there are too many... The Dragon Age Origins has the problem of magic comes from a bunch of different sources, but um, yet it's not very well defined. So since Dragon Age Origins, there's been an effort to kind of bring them together into something that forms a cohesive, understandable metaphysics. Um, you can have infinite sources of of magic, um, which you see in some fantasy, where just magic comes from magic, um, which is fine, um, but that's not what we have in Origins. We have blood magic, and we have Lyria magic, and we have um, um, and we have um, the ashes, and we have spirits, and we have darkspawn, and we have the blight, and we ha or we have the taint, and it's sort of it's. It doesn't know what, how these join together, and um, and that's been a thing that sort of loomed over the franchise. Um, better to honestly to have had um, just magic comes from magic, and not have to worry about it, but uh, instead, kind of had to uh, slowly collapse the space into something understandable as time went on. Going. Oops. All right. So the the teleporting in um, DA two, I think tries to explain itself through lore as being um, just moving really fast. Um, I don't know if we bothered to do that in Inquisition or if we just and I'm off. let it go. But yeah, in, in DA2, it's definitely presented as just moving really fast. Um, the no teleporting is two reasons. It's basically David Gator putting a restriction into the IP because teleportation 
um, is D and D has a, if you think about it, has a couple of really big problems. If you can teleport, how do you? What is magical defense, or what does defense look like? And if you have low level mind control, how would society uh, react to that? So blood magic is the response to the mind control, and the no teleportation rule is a response to how we deal with that. Um, um, but uh, the um, um, but I, I think that you know honestly you need to keep the door open and in a in a computer game as opposed to just a tabletop game you don't have that literally you don't have to deal with some of this stuff you can just make it incredibly rare as a solution yeah I mean that's right is is you know there's there are problems with the way that things have been presented in um, Dragon Age, even in Dragon Age Origins, that would introduce uh, problems that are very similar to teleportation. You, you move through the Fade, that's like moving through the, you know, the Ethereal Plane or, or the Plane of Shadows or what have you, which is, this introduces exactly the same problem as teleportation. Um, yeah, like, I, I do think that the the presentation of how society views magic in in Dragon Age, um, at least the background presentation, I mean, people are pretty much fine with you doing it, um, is probably pretty accurate to how how a society would view it. It's a tool. You're not going to um, you're not necessarily going to just murder everyone, but you're definitely going to try to control it in some manner, especially in um, a society like this. Mommy? Mommy, no matter, son. Mommy! Mommy! Trigger. Yes. Can't pick that up. Can't pick that up. Nope. Nope. Just need to sell everything. I mean, everything in Dragon Age is presented from the perspective of shining a light on things, but you can never draw a one-to-one -one, uh, connection with anything in... Um, with real life. I mean, that's always going to be a restriction or maybe even uh, a intentional... Um, 
uh, thing to allow this the conversation to exist. Doesn't mean there's not room for commentary, but uh, yeah, it's not like the Dalish draw um, inspiration from a bunch of different places. I'm gonna dump some stuff, some of this stuff on the ground, um, like this mediocre. gift that I probably am not going to figure out how to, what to use it for, but it's a scroll, so surely it's... Where is it? Gift. Generous gift. Thank you ever so much. Where is that? Thing I picked up. No. Don't want to hate me. Yeah, I'm not using the crafting stuff either. I just think I forgot to One sell it all. Creatures like those, really. as well, but... Surprising number of problems with stairs in this game. Whoops, is that good? It's not terrible. Good enough to throw something away.
maybe. I doubt they will um, explore that too much. Um, I mean, it's sort of the 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 question is is like are are uh, Genlocks all dwarves, or are they some dwarves and some something coming from a broodmother that aren't really dwarves anymore? And I guess that would be a one out. surface again. That doesn't actually make sense, does it? Drink. All right. Yum, 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 yum. Um, then let's take it. remember this puzzle at all. It, let's leave. Did I get the, did I the earthen jug? So many blood items. Oh yeah. I did it, I guess. Let us end this. Didn't do it. Take it. Yes.
Okay. So. How in the world are you supposed to figure this puzzle out? Hmm. Okay, well... Great. I think I did it. Hopefully I did, because I busted the jug. Yeah, here we go. No idea how I was supposed to figure that out. Nope. Fine, you can stay there. Do I have something on that already? No. Fine, you can stay there too. Taking the stuff from the treasure chests, sarcophagi, definitely not. Not really, because they were shades, but fine. That's pretty good. Let's get rid of something. Alistair. Oh, you can't wear it. Strength 38. What is your strength? Can I, can I wear it? Yeah. Is it better? Mm, similar. I'll get Alistair to wear it. Let's 
got to go south. Why can't there be a merchant in the in the dungeon? I got stuff to sell. Pile of sacks. Switch for these. I guess this is one way. Oh, now I'm seeing them.
Ominous. Why wouldn't a skeleton be carrying some elf root? It's jerky. Whoops, probably shouldn't just be standing here. Making the I'm amazed we're getting too much VFX spam. It's dragging the frame rate down on this thing. I do remember this one, but I don't remember. Or not, or don't figure out the puzzle. And just kill him anyway. a bunch of memory in that uh, VFX extravaganza. Frame is starting to unravel a bit. Those are all for um, our dwarf friend, huh? Let's see. More chests I can't open. All right. So there's some tier four leather armor here. Okay. have an iron ring, don't I? Let's get rid of those. So be here.
I'm going to have to take that. Managed to get myself somewhat lost. Oh. This is the way. But... Okay, entrance level, werewolf lair, where is the... Is there a door here I'm missing? Yeah, I mean, it, it, with I don't have the 4 gig patch because I couldn't get it to work with Steam. I do have some of the other things that alleviate memory. Um, yeah, but it's not showing as inter. Oh, it wasn't showing as interactable. <laughs> It's only interacting from one direction, maybe. Am I just carrying around a bunch of that already, I guess? Sure. That a great. Point me. The lesser injury can't get rid of that. Take it.
Sneaky wolf. Again, is that uh, the they, they, the models wouldn't have worked in future versions? Um, that's I mean they could have recreated them, but that's part of it. Yeah, I think that part of the problem was getting um, the artists excited into making them. Um, they are a custom skeleton. I mean, you might be able to make them off of, say, the the dwarf skeleton. I mean, not the dwarf, the giant skeleton. Um, they would obviously be different than the ones in Origins. But... Um, But yeah, there's certainly would be use for them, but they would have to be um, they would have to be rebuilt because the ones from Origins are too old. Gatekeeper. Stop, brothers and sisters, be at ease. We do not wish any more of our people hurt. I ask you this now, outsider: Are you willing to parley? Uh, so, sure, why not? Not with me. I have been sent to you on behalf of the lady. She believes you may not be aware of everything you should be. Definitely not. She means you no harm. Provided your willingness to parlay in peace is an honest one. Swift Runner did not think it would matter. The lady disagrees. And since you have forced your way this far, we must acquiesce to her wishes. Yeah, you might be able to, The problem with the behemoth is it's kind of the... Yeah, you might be able to make something work on the behemoth. Follow me. But I warn you, if you break your promise and harm her, I will come back from the Fade itself to see you pay. I bid you welcome, mortal. I am the Lady of the Forest. The Behemoth is definitely an example of thing that was created because an artist was excited about it. It's got a lot of, it's got a weird shape, so it's got a lot of trouble reaching things. So it's actually problematic from a gameplay perspective. But, uh, so it's, it's, but sometimes, you know, sometimes art makes something and you work with it. Sometimes design makes something you work with it I, I, I like that sort of back and forth where 
the leadership on a specific feature can move around a little bit. Do not listen to him, lady. He will betray you. We must attack him now. Hush, Swift Runner. Your urge for battle has only seen the death of the very ones you've been trying to save. Is that, is that what you want? No, my lady. Anything but that. And the time has come to speak with this outsider, to set our rage aside. I apologize on Swift Runner's behalf. He struggles with his nature. Truer words were never spoken. But few could claim the same as these creatures, that their very nature is a curse forced upon them. No doubt you have questions, mortal. There are things that Zathrian has not told you. It was Zathrian who created the curse that these creatures suffer. The same curse that Zathrian's own people now suffer. Centuries ago, when the Dalish first came to this land, a tribe of humans lived close to this forest. They sought to drive the Dalish away. Zathrian was a young man then. He had a son and daughter he loved greatly. And while out hunting, the human tribe captured them both. The humans tortured the boy, killed him. The girl they raped and left for dead. The Dalish found her, but she learned later she was with child. She killed herself. Zathrian came to this ruin and summoned a terrible spirit, binding it to the body of a great wolf. So with a fang came to me. Witherfang hunted the humans of the tribe. Many were killed, but others were cursed by his blood, becoming twisted and savage creatures. Twisted and savage, just as Witherfang himself is. They were driven into the forest. When the human tribe finally left for good, their cursed brethren remained. Pitiful and mindless animals. Until I found you, my lady, you gave me peace. I showed Swift Runner that there was another side to his bestial nature. I soothed his rage and his humanity emerged. And he brought others to me. In part. We seek to end the curse. The crimes committed against Zathrian's children were grave, but they were committed centuries ago by those who were long dead. Word was sent to Zathrian every time the land ships passed this way, asking him to come, but he has always ignored us. We will no longer be denied. <sighs> we spread the curse to his people, so he must end the curse to save them. Please, mortal. You must go to him. Bring him here. If he sees these creatures, hears their plight, surely he will agree to end the curse. Mm. Sure. Tell him if he refuses, I will ensure that Witherfang is never found. He will never cure his clan. Outside of this chamber, the passage leading back to the surface has been opened for you. Return with Zathrian as soon as you can. Hey, loot. 
some crap crappy loots. Just walking up some stairs. Oops. Hey, what you doing here? Ah, and here you are already. You have carved a safe path through the forest. Safe enough for me to follow, anyhow. <laughs> he wishes to see if we did his work for him. Is that not why you were here now, sorcerer? Do not call me that, witch. I am keeper of this clan, and have done what I must. Did you acquire the heart? You didn't. May I ask then, why are you leaving the ruin? Oh. Is that what the spirit calls herself now? And what does she want with me, if I might inquire? You do understand that she actually is Witherfang? She is the powerful spirit of this ancient forest that I summoned long ago and bound in the body of the wolf. Her nature is that of the forest itself. Beautiful and terrible, serene and savage, maiden and beast. She is the Lady and Witherfang both, two sides of a single being. The curse came first from her. Those she afflicted with it mirrored her own nature, becoming savage beast as well as human. I find that difficult to believe. They attacked my clan, and they were the same savages then that they have ever been. They deserve to be wiped out and not defended. Come, I will accompany you back to the ruin. Let us go and speak to the spirit, and I will force her into Witherfang's form. He may then be slain and the heart taken. Um. Even so, they are still the same worthless creatures that their ancestors were. They deserve nothing more than the misery they possess. This is not your battle, Grey Warden. Let us just take the heart and be done with it. Why? You claim they have regained their minds, but they are still savage beasts. Their nature is unchanged. All they want is revenge, or a release that I will not give them. No, let us take the heart and end it. You were not there. You did not see what, what, what they did to my son, to my daughter, and so many others. You are not Dalish. How can you know how we had to struggle to be safe? How could I have let their crimes go unanswered? I remember them as if it were yesterday. Even if they are more than animals now, they desire nothing but revenge. They will never let my plan be. Tell me, if you held your own daughter's lifeless body in your arms, would you not also have sworn an eternity of pain on those who did such to her? I mean, I did kill the guy that was abusing my sister, so, you know. Very well. You wish me to go and talk? I will do so. But what if it is only more revenge they wish? Will you safeguard me from harm? I fail to see the purpose behind this, but very well. It has been many centuries now. Let us see what the spirit has to say. So here you are, spirit. <laughs> she is the lady of the forest. You will address her properly. <coughs> You've taken a name, spirit. 
And you've given names to your pets? These beasts who follow you? It was they who gave me a name, Zathrian. And the names they take are their own. They follow me because I help them to find who they are. Who they are has not changed from whom their ancestors were. Wild savages, worthless dogs. Their twisted shape only mirrors their monstrous hearts. He will not help us, lady. It is as I warned you. He is not here to talk. No, I am here to talk, though I see little point in it. We all know where this will lead. Your nature compels it, as does mine. It does not have to be that way. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit. As is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created? I mean, Dragon Age Inquisition has a lot going on, so the mages and the Templars are kind of being pushed into the background, for sure. Um, somewhat intentionally so. And so he did. With if I'm an eye, are bound as one being. But such powerful magic could not be accomplished without Zathrian's own blood. Your people believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestors, Zathrian, but that is not true. So long as the curse exists, so do you. No! That is not how it is! I did it for my people. I did it for my son and my daughter. For them, for justice, I would do anything. The curse would not end with Zathrian's death. His life, however, relies on its existence. And I believe his death plays a part in its ending. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, and I will never do it. Ha! You see? We must kill them all! See? They turn on you as quickly. Do what you have come here to do, Grey Warden, or get out of my way! We're standing for what's right here, no matter what. Then you die with them. All of you will suffer as you deserve. Where are you, Sathrian? There you are. Let's wipe them out quickly. expect there to be room in his. I cannot do as you ask, spirit. I am too old to know mercy. All I see are the faces of my children, my people. I, I cannot do it. Perhaps I have lived too long. This hatred in me is like an ancient gnarled root it has consumed my soul what of you spirit you are bound to the curse just as i am do you not fear your end you are my maker zathrian you gave me form and consciousness 
where none existed. I have known pain and love, hope and fear, all the joy that is life. Yet of all things, I desire nothing more than an end. I beg you, Maker, put an end to me. We beg you, show mercy. You shame me, spirit. I am an old man, alive long past his time. Then you'll do it? You will end the curse? Yes, I think it is time. Let us... Let us put an end. They get the clothes from. It's over. She's gone. And we're human. I can scarcely believe it. We'll leave the Probably forest, would have been better suppose. off keeping the wolves Find for the end. But... See what's out there for us. It should be quite interesting, don't you think? Thank you. We. We'll never forget you. Let's go find a store. Where are we? Yeah. Let's go to here <clears throat> Oh come on I need to pick up this elf root. And 
I'm on. Done. Going. I mean, the game Inquisition literally starts with the them meeting to try to reach a peace agreement and then exploding. So it definitely takes a lot of pieces off the table. I can actually start to run when she said that. That's funny. I use them. I have used them. Not using them in this playthrough. I just. That's probably correct. Most of the models, despite the short um, development time, way more was rebuilt for DA2 than makes rational sense. It is done. The essence of the wolf's heart has banished all traces of cursed blood from the hunters. It is too bad that Zathrian had to die. I... I felt it when he departed. I think he was ready to go. It will be difficult to fill Zathrian's shoes. He was our keeper for many centuries, and he will be sorely missed. But I am keeper now. Let me say it officially, then. I hereby swear to uphold the terms of the ancient contract our people formed with the Grey Wardens. Finally! Call, and we shall come, with great speed and purpose. And we shall strike at your foes. This I swear. It has been a long time since the Dalish marched to war, but I trust that in the end, we shall make a difference for you. Pretty sure that we've been better off with the werewolves, but what's in here then? Songbook. Uh. Yeah, I know. Fine, we'll be back.
Where is that guy? Now that the forest is clear, I am free to hunt a pelt of my own. Then Dana will be mine. Who was I supposed to talk to? I don't remember. Greetings to you, friend. I understand I have you to thank for my rescue from the forest. I don't want your efforts to go unrewarded. Here is the gem I traded for when I was amongst the outsiders. I thought to make a necklace out of it for my bride, but I want you to have it. I know what it's worth. Are we married now? You wish me to keep it? Then you are truly generous. Thank you again. And now I am afraid I must rest. The keeper says I am not yet fully recovered after all. I wish you well, my friend. Oh, I'm so generous. Where is there you? So the hunters were cured, but not in time for my denial. Nope. By the creators. Denial's scarf. Zathrian said she was killed by the same curse plaguing the others. Where is she now? Uh. So the keeper did not lie. The curse killed her. You are certain of this. Oh, I see. At least she is at peace. Here, take this amulet. I hope it is worth something to you as a reward. Now I should go and make arrangements. I must mourn my wife as is proper. Dareth Shiroff, fare you well. Working hard to make enough equipment for all of the hunters. Our armaments will be superior to anything else you find on the battlefield. I am no merchant, but I have plenty that you may need. You got money, is what you got. I'm literally never using these things. Of gifts. Gift, gift. Those human skins. I'm 
Yeah, sure. I'm gonna sell some of this stuff. I know it's amazing. hard to make enough equipment for all of the hunt level you up oh you're still not quite strong enough to wear that armor I level up as well. Get myself some more stamina. Disengage anyway into a dual weapon. Good. Okay. I think we are done for today. That means Orzammar will be next. Um, let me just double check. It. The blight. Oops. Blight. All done. Yes. Orzammar. And, uh, yeah, so. Yeah, actually, thank you for reminding me. I, I will just dump those. Let's dump all the joke gifts. Okay, Cat Lady, Chastity Belt, Butterfly Sword. Scented soap, I assume. This one. Gift of cone. Uh, I'm not sure if that is a joke gift or not. Let's see, it gets it out of my inventory. Okay. So I will do. So thank you for joining me today. Next time um, we will do. Orzammar. I doubt we'll do Orzammar in a single session. Um, but, you know, I was surprised about Mage Tower, so maybe I'll be surprised again. But I doubt it. So, thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you want to pick up some merchandise, there's a link down. I'm not wearing any merch. I'm wearing a Planescape shirt. But if you want to pick up some merch, there's a link down in the description of this thing. I think. Um... Uh, mine hasn't actually, my second order hasn't actually come yet, so that's why I don't have anything to wear. Um, and I will see you again next time. Well, now I will see you again next time, because I actually have a cursor again. <laughs>